you have the courage to tell the truth? Do you have the do you have the energy, the courage, the stamina, the wherewithal to go look for the truth? Much of the world isn't. They're not looking for it. Much of the world just doesn't care. I think the uh, I think there's at least ten percent of the world that cares about the truth. Now, will you be one of the guardians of it? Will you actually stand up and and say what you believe? I think so. I think you will. By the way, the Smithsonian is standing up and they're they're doing they're no oh, they're doing a bing up job telling the truth. Do we have the audio of this? Mm-hmm. Here's the latest from the Smithsonian Institution on the history of America. Over time, physical difference mattered. And with the development of the transatlantic slave trade, landowners began replacing their temporary European laborers with enslaved Africans who were held in permanent bondage. Soon, a new social structure emerged, based primarily on skin color, with those of English ancestry at the top and African slaves and American Indians at the bottom. Here comes my favorite part. By 1776, when all men are created equal was written into the Declaration of Independence yes. by a slaveholder named Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Can you even... I mean, what do you do with that but laugh or just get eye bleed angry? No, no, hang on just a second. What's wrong with that? It's, it's true. Hey, just a slave... Uh, a slaveholder named Thomas Jefferson. Like, well, but it's true. He like was a slave owner. Okay, we, we talk about these people who make these boneheaded uh, mistakes in uh, in their verbiage, and they cause an amazing uproar. And then the White House just simply says, "I'm sorry, that was uh, that's not the sum total of everything they are or everything that, that represents these people." But this guy, the sum total of his life work is a slaveholder, Thomas Jefferson. Really, that's how you're going to describe. One of the greatest men slaveholders in history. One of the greatest slaveholders in history. Yes, I yeah, agree with you. That's, that's what he was. He was a slaveholder. So that's what he was. Yeah. yeah. Is there more? A democratic yeah, more. nation was born with a major contradiction about race at its core. As our new nation asserted its independence from European tyranny, yes. blacks and American Indians were viewed as less than human and not deserving of the same liberties as whites. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the notion of race continued to shape life in the United States. Stop. It was notion. They used the word notion. notion. I know, again. This was written by Barack Obama. (laughs) They used the word notion. The rise of race science supported the common belief that people who were not white were biologically inferior. Okay, stop for a second. Did he just say the 20th century? Did he just say that? The yeah. race science? Yes, okay. yes he did. And how, you come know, they didn't, how come they didn't mention that that was right. the progressive movement that did that? Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, really yeah. interesting. Let's talk about who had this, uh, hey, quick, this race science theory. Uh, quick, uh, let me give you a little, uh, It wasn't Thomas Jefferson, so I'll give it you that. It wasn't sli- the slave owner? No, it wasn't the slave owner, Thomas All right. Jefferson. All right. Name the president that ran the um, KKK-lauded silent film uh, yeah. in the White House and, uh, and declared it to be a masterpiece. It's going to be a tough one. going to be a tough one, isn't it? It'd take a while. It's not slave owner Thomas Jefferson. It's not. No, no. It sure could. I mean, no, it could it's be not somebody as conservative. Wonderful. It's not conservative Ronald Reagan. Either. Could it be somebody as wonderful as Woodrow Wilson? Oh my goodness! Could you it don't be mean progressive be? Woodrow Wilson? Yes. Get out yes. of town. Okay. All right. Let's try this one. Right. Um, Planned Parenthood mm-hmm. originally not about plan- family fam- family planning. No. What was, what was it originally it? stated? What was its stated goal? Well, originally. Okay, if you're going to talk about her stated goal. Yeah, her stated of goal. Wiping out the black race. Mm-hmm. Um, who, was that, mean, who would that be? You that want to talk about be... Margaret Sanger and Planned Parenthood okay. and her original stated goal. Right. But again, that's not the sum total of everything she was. Right. No. She okay. just, <laughs> she just okay. wanted to devise a plan as a progressive to wipe out every African American. That's all. On Earth, that's all but she. That's wanted. all she wanted to yes. do. But later, let's though, get back to slave owner okay. Thomas Jefferson, mm-hmm. shall we? The removal of Native Americans from their land, mm-hmm. legalized segregation, yep, and the internment of Japanese Americans. Okay, okay. hold on just a second. It okay, did hold, that. On. hold on just a second. Okay, first one uh, was uh, was uh, Andrew Jackson. Yes, Andrew Jackson did it. Mm-hmm. One son of a bitch. 
That's what he was. That's what it should say. Love, I do. That's you what it should say on the twenty dollar bill underneath his picture is just say "son of a bitch," because <laughs> he was one of he's one of the worst presidents of all time. So we have we have uh, Andrew Jackson right. rounding up the Indians. Yep, got it. Now, what was the next thing he, she said? I think he was talking about Japanese internment. No, no, no. Before that, it was segregation. 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 Yeah. Segregation yeah. of the military. You know, the military wasn't, uh, wasn't, wasn't segregated, segregated before. Let me think. Who, who, was, who it? was it? What was the president? Uh, Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson, the progressive mm-hmm. champion, Woodrow mm-hmm. Wilson. Isn't that weird? That's okay. weird. But that has nothing to do. Let's get back to the evil that is the internment camps. That had to be done. Uh, the Japanese internment camps, that had to be done by conservative... Um, Hmm. Like, did it have to be Nixon? No. Was it Nixon? It was a little was before the, Nixon. It was before Nixon? Prior Washington. To Nixon. Washington. Yeah, not that oh, soon. slave owner Thomas Jefferson. No, not, no. no. Who was a it? A little later still oh, really? than that. Yeah. Who, yeah. who was it? I'm going to have to say FDR. FDR. Mm-hmm. Get out. Hey, so hang on just a second. So we have the first one, rounded up the Indians, right. son of a bitch. Yeah. The second one. Democrat. Uh, By the way, Woodrow Wilson, progressive Democrat. The third one, FDR, Democrat. progressive. Right. That's weird. Isn't that something? Anyway, let's go back to so Thomas Jefferson. He was a slave owner. Okay. I don't know if you know that. World War II, our legacies of where this thinking led. Now let's go to the explorers. It is a powerful idea that was invented by society. Yep. Race is an enduring concept. That has molded our nation's economy, laws, and social institutions. Okay, hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. Hold on. Hold on. Did we cover who came up with the idea of of the whole, you know, race and and uh, and genocide and 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 the the, the ultimate human and the, I think we the Uber we covered that we covered a little bit of that. Did we cover yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. Who was it? It was the um, wait a minute. Uh, was it Ronald was Reagan? Of, no, it was a no. group of. Uh, oh, that's right. The progressives. Oh, okay. That's right. How come that's not mentioned here? Uh, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know what really pisses me off? Uh, not that they said that Thomas Jefferson was a slave owner, because it's technically true. He was a slave owner. Like Pat says. Not the sum total of his work. So insulting. I don't know if you know that. Not the sum total. And he himself was conflicted. He himself very, very. wrote, when I, uh, when I remember that God is just, I tremble for my country. That's what he said about slavery. Yes. He was conflicted. He is no different than the average person today. You know what, he was, you know what his problem was in slavery? He was broke, believe it or not. The guy was the guy was the one of the worst spenders, personal spenders of all time. He bought more wine than any uh, than, uh, than I books. think. Wine and books. Wine and books. They go together well. Yeah. They really <laughs> yeah, do. They do. There's nothing like they having do. a couple of bottles of wine and reading a good book. Yeah. But I, I digress as an alcoholic. Anyway, um, he is uh, uh, he spent himself into oblivion, and the only thing he had of value. Correct me if I've got this story wrong here, Pat. The only thing he really had of value was the ownership of people. I think, personally, that's one of the reasons why he... I mean, how many people do things that are wrong today, knowing that it's wrong, but kind of conflicted on it? Like, I'm not really sure, but I think... But because it is their income, or because it keeps them afloat, they just don't want to even think about it. And you talk about an inherited problem. How many times... Do we hear that excuse oh in the United States of America? I inherited this problem. Okay, no, I hang inherited on just a that problem. Oh, wait a minute. They inherited the problem okay, hang on from the second. British. Hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. You're saying somebody says I inherited the problem? I am. I'm saying that. Yeah. I'm saying. Was it slave owner Thomas Jefferson? No, it was. No. It was. Uh, it had to be conservative. Conservative. <laughs> Ronald no. Reagan. No, I'm not. George that. W. Bush. I hate that. No, I never no. heard him say that. No, really? No, I no. heard another guy say it. Uh, more contemporary. I'm trying to think. Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this notion that Barack Obama says that I think is ridiculous. I don't know if you know this, but Thomas Jefferson was a slave, slave owner. Uh, I, I can't believe what people um, go through. Here in Israel, and the world stays silent. The media is distorting um, and lying, lying to you, lying to you. And it is important that you know it. We will, uh, we will bring you many, many things in the next 14 days that um, you will not see anywhere else. When you see what we are doing on GBTV. 
you will um, uh, you will know why I left uh, cable news because no one no one who runs a business that cares about political correctness or sponsors or anything else uh, would do it nobody would do it uh, my relationship is with you we'll tell you the truth to hell with the consequences you don't like it cancel your subscription you uh, you do like it tell a friend tell a friend the truth shall set you free so we were um, uh, we have so much to talk about um, but we also want to finish up because um, the Smithsonian has uh, has just uh, done this now what is this is this a uh, it's a it's a display at the Smithsonian and this is a video that you uh, see when you first go to the display and mm-hmm. it's mind-boggling I never thought in a million years you'd see a, Miss, a Smithsonian Institute uh, display like this where they talk about uh, Thomas Jefferson just as a slaveholder let me tell you something it was the and it's important to remember this it was the Smithsonian that told and the documents now exist that told uh, the explorers um, in the mid-1800s to destroy everything that proved that the um, uh, Native Americans had a rich and vibrant life um, prior to uh, the white man coming. It, wow. It was the Smithsonian. Wow. So uh, make no mistake, they, they, they think they're all high and mighty. Um, scientists uh, and uh, and people that get their money from the government um, are used to lying to you. And this is the part where they take on explorers. It is a complex notion that notion. has shaped each of our destinies. Many of the ideas we now associate with race originated during the European era of exploration. Sure. Europeans like Christopher Columbus traveled overseas and encountered and then colonized or conquered peoples in Africa, Mm. Asia, Mm -hmm. and the Americas Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who looked, talked, and acted Mm -hmm. much differently from them. Okay, Okay. may I ask you, what did Attila the Hun do? (laughs) Attila the Hun killed you and enslaved you. Yeah. Really? Are we the, the, the European is the only one? Tell me, we're... Were they all European in Egypt? Columbus, is that, is that what Columbus made Attila the Hun look like Gandhi. Right. Did, did, really, did the Europeans go and conquer the pharaoh and put on his funny little hat and then enslave everybody? Is that what happened? <laughs> all right. Now, where should we go? You want to go to, um, you want to hang, you want to take the low hanging fruit here, Pat? Should we go to Warren Buffett or should we go to, uh, uh, or should we go to, we could, we could start with Warren and, uh, his latest rant on, uh, on taxation. Okay, here, uh, here's Warren Buffett. Now remember, genius. Warren, Bu- Warren Buffett, a guy who was poor, mm-hmm. then became rich, and now would like to trap everybody, uh, you know, to be poor. Uh, Pretty much. Much. Close that slap. What was it that Tocqueville said? Oh, yeah, that the rich and powerful would eventually become so rich and powerful and greedy that they would slam the door on everybody else to make sure that they don't have the opportunities that they and now their children have. So here's Warren Buffett. The taxation system has tilted toward the rich and away from the middle class in the last 10 years. Okay, good. Can we, just, can, can we just stop? Tilted towards the rich. I thought it was equal justice for all that everybody was looking for, right? Nick? No. Uh, no. Except for the, you know, that rich 1%. Okay. Except for them. Okay. All right. All right. Wait. Hang on. Just. I just want to make sure I got. This yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's equal so, justice for all, except, except for, for those the wealthy. Wealth. Is this a policy uh, that was put into place by that uh, that that slave owner Thomas Jefferson? No, it was not. No taxes no. weren't. Mm-mm. No. No. Income tax. Who did it? Who did? <laughs> who did the income tax? You, you know, know surely that. that had to be. It sure it had to be that, the heroic maneuver of. Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson. Wilson. Ha! What a you surprise. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, 